My catalytic converter was stolen. It's a new crime wave around the country. Would-be thieves sneaking underneath people's cars. Catalytic converter. Catalytic converter. Catalytic converter. On August 25th, I parked my car at SeaTac International Airport. I was heading to San Antonio with my family for vacation. We came back late Friday night. We approached the Prius and piled our bags in. I put my car in reverse and I headed towards the exit. I barely made it a hundred feet until my car erupted like Mount Vesuvius. I had joked before that my Prius looked like a Lambo, but now it sounded like one too. My check engine light had been on for the past two weeks. I thought this was the price I had to pay for my neglect. There was no way I was going to leave my car stranded in South Seattle. So I barreled on to I-5 North doing 35 miles per hour. I knew my mom was super nervous because she was quiet the whole ride. That never happens. I mean like, never happens. By the grace of God, and after a two-hour car ride, we finally made it to the dealership to drop off my Prius. The next day, the dealership called me and dropped a bomb on me. My catalytic converter was missing, and it would cost $3,400 to replace. The catalytic converter is an essential part. It reduces toxic gases and pollutants from your car's emissions. I told them to proceed with the repairs. Later that night, when I was falling asleep. Something didn't sit right with me. So, I'm not a car guy. Well, I think that's obvious. I drive a Prius. So I went to the Toyota dealership to get some answers. Since the Prius is a low emission vehicle, more precious metals like platinum, rhodium, and palladium are used. Rhodium prices have skyrocketed to over $27,000 per ounce. The catalytic converter in a Prius is fully exposed, allowing thieves to steal it in a matter of minutes. This is a catalytic converter. That's where it's supposed to be. But as you can see, mine wasn't there. The story started to turn around because now I could file an insurance claim. This brought down the $3,400 initial cost all the way to a $1,000 deductible. If I never asked the technician more questions, I would have never realized I was a victim of theft. So always ask questions. My Prius was in the shop for two weeks, but I was still mobile. My insurance agency provided me a Nissan Versa for $4 a day. And I gotta say, for being a tall dude, this tiny car was surprisingly roomy. Don't try to test me. I can be clean, but it can get messy. I talk to God every day. That's my bestie. They playing soccer in my backyard. That thing is messy. And his money could never live with me. I pray that my family and nobody's in place. But apparently a customer was worried that somebody left their camera there and notified the employees and then the employees came running up to me and I was like, oh boy, I'm gonna get in trouble for filming. You know, it's not the first time, won't be the last. But they were hella nice. They were making sure that everything was okay. They were like, what are you doing? 
I told them that I'm a YouTuber. One dude asked if I was famous. I was like, not yet, bro, not yet. I'm working on it. <laughs> you see the consistency, I'm working on it. Shout out to Ethan, if you're watching, man, I appreciate you coming back and like making sure everything was cool. He came up to me, asked me a bunch of questions and made sure to get my contact information because he was gonna go check out my YouTube channel, so. Shout out to Ethan, man, I appreciate you. Excellent customer service. If your boss is watching this, make sure you get a raise. Install a catalytic converter shield to protect your cat converter. This is a sheet of metal that gets bolted to the bottom of your car. It will cost around $300 to install, but will provide a significant obstacle to deter thieves. In talking with the technician at Toyota, he said he's never seen a catalytic converter stolen from a car that had a cat shield installed. Use a high temperature, brightly colored spray paint to color your catalytic converter. The thieves would have to scrape off the paint in order to sell it to a junkyard. So if they saw your catalytic converter painted, they would move on to the next victim. Etch the last eight digits of your VIN on your catalytic converter. You can ask your local mechanic to do this for you. This way, if your catalytic converter is ever stolen and ends up in a junkyard, you can trace it. If you could not park your car in a secure garage, park in a well-lit parking lot that has security cameras installed. Install a dash cam to use as evidence when you go to file your police report. You may be able to catch the thieves on camera or maybe even a license plate. If you can't get those, you will definitely hear the cutting of the catalytic converter, which will help you file an insurance claim. I was talking to my insurance agent a few months back about reducing my insurance coverage so that my monthly premium would be reduced. She strongly advised against it, and I listened to her. I feel very blessed to be in a position where incidences like this are only a minor inconvenience. Because if this would have happened two years ago, it would have been over for me. So definitely always have an emergency fund because the emergency will happen when you least expect it. Thank you guys for watching. Please consider subscribing. And comment down below if anything like this has happened to you or somebody you know. I want to hear your guys' stories. Like I always say, be yourself and you'll make a difference. Peace.